Welcome to another edition of the True North Country Comics Podcast, the podcast devoted to promoting Canadian comic book artists and supporters. On this episode, I'm back at the recent Fan Expo 2017 Toronto, chatting with Jack Briglio. Jack is the writer of the Eisner-nominated fantasy adventure series Growing Up Enchanted. We've seen Jack's work in Scooby-Doo and Legion of Superheroes in the 31st century, the adventures of Digger and Friends, Sesame Street comics uh, for Sesame Street Workshop. Currently, Jack is working on Dominion Jack with Dominic Bercier, a serial in Canadian superhero anthology series True Patriot Presents, Captain Canuck, and other cool things at Chapter House Publishing. I've spoken with Jack before based on his work in the True Patriot anthology. In this conversation, Jack provides an update on his current books, plus provides a sneak peek about his upcoming projects and events. But before we begin, I encourage you to like this podcast on iTunes and definitely check out the truenorthcountrycomics.com website. Like us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and discover a lot more information about Canadian comic book creators and supporters. There's also a few items on the calendar that I should note, too. Uh, On September 11th, uh, starting that time, there'll be the Ottawa Comic Book Club at the Ottawa Library in Sunnyside Branch. Uh, September 16th to 17th is the Saskatoon Expo in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Uh, you can find that at saskexpo.com. Uh, we've also got, on September 17th, the Toronto Comic Sidekick Social September. That's in uh, on Queen Street in Toronto, um, and you can find that on Facebook, too. Uh, September 22nd and 24th is the Edmonton Comic and Entertainment Expo in Edmonton, Alberta. You can find more at edmontonexpo.com. Uh, on September 23rd, the Barrie Public Library in Barrie, Ontario, is going to have their own Comic-Con featuring Jay Torres. Uh, you can find out more at the barrypubliclibrary.ca. September 23rd is HalCon in Halifax, Nova Scotia. You can find more at hal-con.com. And rounding out September is September 23rd is Forest City Comic-Con, London, Ontario. And you can find out more at forestcitycomiccon.ca. So without further delay, here's a True North Country Comics podcast with Jack Briglio at Fan Expo 2017. Enjoy. Well, still continuing with uh, new adventures of Dominion Jack. So uh, through Chapter House Comics, uh, digitally, every two months, uh, we have a series uh, called True Patriot Presents. And uh, the continuing adventures of Dominion Jack appear there now. Issue 5 was out in in time for Canada Day. Issue 6 will be out sometime in, in September. Uh, we've got five stories in, in, in each issue for only $1.99. Uh, like I said, Dominion Jack's one of those st- stories, and we're, uh, uh, we're, uh, it, it's, it's an exciting adventure where he's facing off against TakeOver and a lot of the villains that he's faced in, in previous, uh, previous episodes, so I'm having a lot of fun with it. Issue Zero just came out? And issue Zero is a, uh, is, a, is a compilation of the origin story I did through, in that series, so... Issue Zero compiles uh, the episodes from issues two, three, and four of, uh, of uh, True Patriot Presents on Comixology. And I wanted to have a print edition for conventions I went to this year. So uh, that's, that's where uh, Dominion Jack Zero was born. So I've got a few copies left here at the show, but uh, running low. But hey, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's been well received. And you mentioned something about super icons, I think. Can you tell me about that? So well, that one, that one's a, 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 a old proposal that I uh, that uh, that I worked on some pages with that I, I, I wanted to get out onto the website because uh, I thought the pages were nice and it was an old uh, uh, actually it started with an old Dial H for Hero pitch that I did for DC Comics that uh, never, didn't end up going anywhere. They ended up passing on it, so I thought, oh, I, I'd do my own. And I did about nine pages with the uh, artist Tom Zick. And uh, I'm just having it out there. Who knows? Maybe a publisher will look at it and say, hey, you know, well, we're interested. Let's, uh, let's do that. Um, I can tell you that one of the other things I'm working on, actually, that I've announced to people that have come here that I'm doing some work for Joe Books. I'm doing, uh, I'm, I'm doing some scripts for uh, Disney Princess. Yeah, so uh, that, I'll, you'll start seeing some stories from me in the upcoming issues of that. So that's nice all-ages fun. But my superhero stuff, I, I'm still working hard on, uh, on getting that out there to... to everybody to, to see in here. And I saw that you had a, a stand at the Byward Market in Ottawa. What Can you tell me a little bit about that? 
Yeah, so that's a uh, that's authors market. So over the summer, and I, I don't think, uh, and I mean, with this year with Canada 150, I think it was a little more special. But apparently, they do this every year. This is the first year I, I found out about it. They have a booth for two authors, two local authors, uh, to be able to sell their books to uh, to the Byward Market uh, uh, area, so tourists and whoever else is visiting there. So I thought I'd try it this year, and uh, the Sunday I went, it was was really good. But they apparently they have slots all week like Monday through through Sunday and like I said I tried it on Sunday it was great uh, I think I'll be doing it again next year because it's nice as long as as long as the weather's nice it's uh, it's it's kind of a nice time to, to, to be out there so what's the next show for you I know this is a big one here for you and uh, anything else coming up you could talk about uh, it's not uh, it's not a like a show like Fan Expo but in Ottawa there's a CanCon every year it's a, a spec fiction science fiction fantasy uh, writers convention so I'll be there I'll be there there'll be a couple of uh, there'll be a couple of panels that uh, uh, myself and Dominic Bercier I think we're going to talk about uh, collaborating as writer he's an artist he's a writer artist but I, I worked with him on Dominion Jack Zero uh, we're going to talk about uh, collaborating together and what, what it means to, to work on comics together as a writer and an artist and also uh, uh, they do readings usually for uh, for for various uh, for various books for from authors that want to do little readings. What we're going to do at at this sh- at this show for the first time is we're going to do comic readings. So we're going to display some excerpts from like Dominion Jack, let's say, and we're going to get voice actors to play out to play out uh, some of the scenes. So that should be fun. So uh, any aspiring writers or writers out there that are interested in going to that convention, it'll it'll be a lot of fun. There'll be some interesting panels there. Something for everyone for sure. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, Jack. Appreciate your time. Thanks to Jack for talking with me at the show. It was a great opportunity to discover his current and upcoming projects. You can discover more about Jack on his website, jackbriglio.com. And you can find out more information about CanCon in Ottawa, October 13th and 15th at cancon.org. And thanks to you for listening to the True North Country Comics podcast. I invite you to subscribe, like, and comment on the podcast. Please send your feedback to True North Country Comics at gmail.com. Thanks again for listening and come back soon for another podcast episode. Bye for now.